For this example, I'm again going to start with a number in our floating point format and convert this back into a decimal number. So the first step is to take this number and to put it into the floating point format so we can see what the various fields are. C is 1100, zero, zero. 5 is 101, one. and B is 1011. One. I have zeros for the rest of my precision bits, so they're not going to be terribly important. First I've got a 1, so I have a negative number. We'll have a leading 1, and then the rest of my mantissa. Now I have my exponent. I have 128, which gives me my bias plus 1. And then I have 11. So 11 plus 1 will give me 12. Now I need to convert this back into decimal. I could you know, move my binary point 12 places to the right and figure out what all those, what those three bits, the value of those three bits are, add them up, or I can try something else. I can convert this to 11 times 2 to the 9th. So in this case, I've moved my binary point over three places, dropped my exponent accordingly, but I still have the exponent. Now, I know that 2 to the 10th is 1,024, so half of that is 512. And I know that this is 11. So really I want to do 11 times 512, which is reasonable to do by hand. 11 times 512 is 5,120 plus 512. And this is a negative number because we have 1 for our sign bit. This floating point number corresponds to negative 5,632 in decimal.